say good morning. Come, come, doctor. I am going through your scans only. Everything is ready. So you can see, no, very clearly, it's really retruded. Muscles, everything. So, like I said, we'll plan uh, 14, 15 millimeters horizontal and about 7, 8 millimeters vertical. The maximum I can do without bone grafting is about 14, 15 mm. And then, if I do so much vertically, you'll lead to more incompetent lips. Take your mask. So, what happens, right? Your lips are already incompetent. If I bring it too much down, the incompetency will worsen. So, we shouldn't do too much of vertical. Little bit is needed. So, we'll do that, but mostly this one. That's the first thing. Secondly, we'll go really posterior to your mental nerve, okay? So, your mental nerves are starting there. So, I think my, your cut will almost be till the first molar. Almost. Like, this is the first molar, like this. Only then, uh, we'll be able to push it really forwards. Um, that's the things. Otherwise, uh, there is no other... The nerves are fine, I have good space to cut. One tooth you've got RCT, you've not got a crown. Put a crown on that sometime, other than that everything is fine. These wisdom teeth that you have, it's better to take it off. Uh, four of them are there, all four are in bad shape. So remove it off, not now, but keep in mind. I think it's better to remove all four in one go. All four wisdom teeth. If you don't remove, if you do it now, if you don't do it. No, the uh, other tooth will get damaged. This molars, the molars in front will get damaged. Okay. So in order to save this molar, you see how it is already. So this, this, this and this. You should. Be, it's ideal to remove all four away one, one day. Okay. Plan it, Aram say. Okay. Otherwise, this will cause unnecessary issues for you later on in life. Just a coincidental finding now that I see. But it's safer to knock it off. Okay. Alright? Chalo. So we probably will start your surgery a little late. So can you have some juice or something now? Have you fasting whole time from morning? What time? Yesterday night at around 10 30, 10 40. So it's already more than 12 hours. Otherwise we can give you IV fluid one, five percent extra or something, you'll not feel hungry. Huh? We'll take her and up, shift her on top straight away. We have the rhino and we have the trauma guy there, right? We shift her next. Who else is there? Uh, that, that boy can wait. That SMG guy can wait. Amina is there in the ICU, I know. We can keep her in the pre. Somewhere there, so it's easier for us to give her an IV fluid and everything. She's a radiologist herself. Yes. Sorry? When will, you when will I discharge you? I can let you go early since you're a doctor. Yes. Uh, when do you want to go? Um, by Sunday. It will be uh, Sunday, no. Before that only I can send you. Today is what, Tuesday, right? Uh, Tuesday. If you're fine, I'll send you in two days also. Okay. And now, my father, he's saying he will stay for seven days. So Your dad is a doctor? No. No. Because you're a doctor, you can go early. I can let you go. I'll tell you what to do. You give your injections and all finished. Okay. If you want, if you're happy, you can stay with us, you stay. Up to you. Oh, no, sir. My HOD is a kidney. Then you go off. Okay. Uh, but don't go for work. HOD, see, you cannot go to work. Okay. You have to go physically, right? To the yes. last scan center? Yeah, sir. But Suppose there is some hit somewhere or... Still, you are going to be swollen. Okay. You may not have pain. Yeah. See, working from home you can do. But uh, physically moving around, not a very great idea that early. Mm -hmm. You can go. There will be no issues for you. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, because after such a surgery, we will put you on some diet. Yeah. So, physically also, you are not going to be that up and about, you know, you're going to be feeling little weak. Yes, sir. but we are only five people. Okay. So, seniors are also not there. You can go and tell him uh, something, I'm here for some time and then take leave. This time you go there and I just say. Yeah, something like that you do. And that depends on how well you recuperate, okay. Usually it's fine. Mm -hmm. I've had doctors whom I've sent in two days and all. Mm -hmm. So, you should be fine. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Okay. See, because some patients do have some excessive swelling. Some rare patients do have excessive bruising and we are doing a lot of movement for you. Not, yours is not a mild to moderate, it is a severe movement. Hence, we will just take a call like on Thursday evening. Okay. Huh? Two days after surgery, we will take a call. Okay. Done. Doc, take a. You are welcome.
So here we are in the pre-med area, uh, about to shift this patient for a genioplasty surgery. Uh, as you can see, there is, uh, this patient has retruded uh, chin. Okay, her uh, mandible is not so retrognathic, but just the chin portion which is retruded, and we are going to slide it forward. Uh, it's going to be a horizontal as well as a vertical augmentation. Uh, does not have any snoring issues as such, but uh, no, no, nothing like an OSA, uh, but just the aesthetic part of it is being corrected. That is an augmentation that is going to be done. Uh, we will be taking post-op scans to tell you uh, how many millimeters of horizontal as well as vertical augmentation has been done and that will be shown in a short while. In augmentation procedure for this patient, you can see how retruded the chin is. The face is totally convex. Um, we're going to do an extended genioplasty, which will have more of a horizontal augmentation than a vertical. And uh, this is going to be done under nasal intubation. major chin augmentation and you, we're going to show you how she looked before uh, you also saw her in the earlier video ahead of this so we did 15 millimeters of advancement in the horizontal dimension we did 8 millimeters of horizontal of vertical augmentation no bone grafting done and this is the immediate result we're going to show you how she looked before so you can see that the chin was literally not there now we've given her a nice chin that's going to improve her proportion as well the upper lip is exposed now because of the tube on the nose okay we're going to show you the front view so there you go there to here You were looking good before, but it's changed so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> All are saying. All are saying already? Even my mom. Okay, open your mouth, dental a little bit. You know, we've done more millimeters than what I told you. I'll take the scan and show you. Yeah, I have seen the video. You saw the video? You told me 4 mm, but you said that I have done 8 mm. I have seen. And uh, down, out also more. I think 15 or 16 mm. For you, see. It depends also the shape of the lower jaw and everything, you know. Somehow, I could get it. And as I said, take my face is to be like this. But it has not grown uh, after the second growth spurt. Mm -hmm. It could be because of uh, some injury, mild injury here. Then the second growth spurt happens at the condylar heads. Mm -hmm. That has not happened uh, so much. That is one. Secondly, it could be some genetic things. Maybe yeah, somebody in your family. Um, ah, that is more the reason than not the same thing. We can't be sure, but uh, they might get a little bit of uh, things. You know, there's a thing called Habsburg's jaw. There was this royal family in Europe called Habsburg's. Their generations got these kind of jaw issues. So there is a genetic involvement to this as well. Uh, but you don't have to be worried about it. Today it's an easy job, you know. You can take care of it in like no time. Okay. Sorry, it will burn a little bit. Unfortunately, light pull. So we have done major chin augmentation for this pre doctor. And now we're taking the compressive dressing. The most painful part of our treatment here for a lot of patients anyways this was like major movements on the chin and the submental region and the beauty is all of this augmentation is going to stay for life yes you may have a look now
<laughs> yeah. So what do you think, doctor? We show you some other side pictures also. Ah, look at that. Look at me. Look at this side. Yeah, this side. This side. Towards me. And now you see. That one. And it's going to get better. You know why it's going to get better? Because this swelling is already less for you actually. Your swelling is less. But it's going to come even nice and down. And the angulation and the freeness. Everything is going to be... Yeah, that's because of the surgery. It will slowly come back. So if you've seen the video also, the nerves are a little elongated. Why? Because I have to get under the nerve to cut really back. So that time, you know, when you dissect the nerve then there is what is called as neuropraxia temporary uh, paralysis like this it will slowly come back within a few weeks you're going to feel absolutely normal uh, the main care is because your advancement is quite a lot uh, this will come in the severe or maximum amount of advancement we can do without a bone grafting you've got to be extra careful so remember it, bone healing you know already it takes four five weeks for a radiologist give it extra some more time so that you know you leaving today yeah today. ah look at that look that's it also please right beautiful can you move my head normally anything you can down. do yeah you can take bath actually what we want to do is uh, you can only intraoral you have to take care we'll give you this gel yeah, I'm already this is the best thing this is just uh, like a protective layer so that nothing saliva doesn't get into the area and you know prevents any infection that's all okay. food so you can start eating semi-solid now like idli, idli, idli uh, porridge those kind of things to eat a lot of chewy food wait for another 10 days ten or 8 days okay. otherwise then slowly chewing things you can eat everything where's your dad should we call him Inka father ko bulao na. Yeah, see, all of this uh, movements also, everything will become normal. It will take some time because it's immediately done, right? That's the only thing. Once it heals, it'll look all fine. We'll have to wait for a few more weeks. Already, see the improvement in the height. Proportion, angle, everything will fix. Chalo. All right, take care. Doctor, you're leaving today, right? Okay, sir. What time are you leaving? 8. 7.58. 7.58. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. You're welcome.